Hey guys, Rovers25 here and welcome to today's video where today I'm going to be showing you how to install your Xbox 360 Chinese controller wireless receiver driver. Um, the reason I'm making this video is actually more or less because um, I just recently replaced my Xbox 360 wireless uh, gaming receiver uh, because mine broke and upgraded to Windows 10 and I noticed that the driver disc that I got with mine uh, had a crack in it after I figured out that the drivers that are built into Windows 10 for the official ones do not work with these Chinese ones anymore. So I had to do a lot of research on the internet and I figured out how to do it so I'm going to show you how to do it today. So first off you're going to obviously need to have purchased some Xbox 360 wireless gaming receiver uh, clone or copy from China or whatever and you can just go ahead and take that big red ugly disc that they give you with yours and uh, just chuck it in the trash because we're not going to use it. Okay, so step one, um, we're going to go ahead and open up the device manager. So you just go ahead to this PC, you hit manage, and then you come down here to device manager, and uh, you'll see all this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my receiver right now into the front panel of my computer. And there we go. So we notice that it pops up as an unknown device. Uh, technically, there's a driver built into Windows 10 for the Xbox 360 gaming uh, receiver wireless receiver uh, if you buy the official one but uh, the Chinese ones do not pick it up so we're gonna have to kind of backdoor this so first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna go to this website right here now this is directly through Microsoft's official website um, the link uh, right here will be in the description of the video so go ahead and check the description to click on this link so you can do this yourself we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna hit on downloads and we're gonna select the software and drivers that we need um, so I do, I do not know if this works with Windows 8, so please don't ask in the description because I'm not going to even answer it. Um, I generally answer everything that ever gets asked in the description, but that's something I'm not going to ask. I'm telling you right now. So for Windows 10, I know that the, the Windows 7 driver works. So I have Windows 10 64-bit. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to uh, go and hit the Windows 7 64-bit only. We're going to have it set to English. and Right here, we can see that it says Windows 7 64-bit only, uh, Xbox 360 accessory software 1.2. We're going to go ahead and click that so we can download it. We can see that it's uh, done here. So one thing that we're going to do, though, is we're going to right-click on it. If you're using Chrome, I don't know what other browsers you need to do, but you're going to have to navigate to your downloads folder. And we're going to hit show in folder. I'm going to close this. And we're going to go ahead and run this as administrator. So I'm going to go ahead and run that as an administrator, the installer. Uh, accept the license agreement and hit next to install the software package uh, and it's now finished so we can go ahead and hit finished now you notice that it's still not in our devices and printers and over here on the computer management it still says it's an unknown device that's because even though now we have the appropriate drivers for the device they're not like officially signed by Microsoft or something well the, the wireless receiver is not officially signed by Microsoft so it's not able to automatically use those drivers so now we're going to tell it to, to manually use those drivers. So we're going to go ahead and right click on the unknown device that appeared when we plugged in our USB receiver. And we're going to go ahead and hit uh, update device software or driver software. And uh, we're going to go to browse my computer. Let me pick. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and hit Xbox 360 peripherals. Next. Scroll to the bottom. And you have two choices here. My general understanding is, is that you want to use the 2.1.0 driver from 2009 because it's far more stable and still works perfectly flawlessly. The new one, which is the 10.0 whatever, this one from 2015, I heard, has some compatibility issues. So you make the decision of which one you would like to try, but I'm going to go ahead and use the 2.1.0 driver. So we'll go ahead and select that, highlight it, and we're going to hit next. It's going to say, uh, you know, we don't recognize that this device should use this driver, blah, blah, blah. Just go ahead and hit yes, and it's going to install the driver. You're going to see that it says that it has installed successfully. We're going to close it. And you're going to notice that we now have something called Xbox 360 peripherals, and we have the receiver for Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my controller over here, and I'm going to go ahead and plug my battery pack in. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my controller and sync it. I'm hitting the sync button on my little... Uh, US, or the USB wireless receiver and we should refresh this page if it uh, decides that it wants to refresh oh there it is okay I don't know if that 
took a little bit longer than expected, but now you can see that we have an Xbox 360 wireless controller uh, set in our devices and printers. Thanks for watching my video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to find my latest videos, you can go ahead and click right here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to know where you can get the best deals on games and get them for up to 75% off, go ahead and click the link in the description. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter to keep up to date. I hope you all have a good rest of your day.